we're going to start with our main topic today, which was solo and Roman. But to, to get there, I have to mention that Cody Rhodes did go out there and talk to start the show with his WWE title, completely undeserved. But Solo did come out and mention to Cody that he needed a rematch, but he has to, you know, deal with Roman Reigns first because Roman was the one who fucked it up for him. But look at Cody with his smug shit face. God, he pissed me off so bad today. But they hey, were going to... Uh, uh, can I just hold on? You said Cody doesn't deserve to have the title? No, man, he was about to lose. If it wasn't for Roman Reigns, he would not be champion. That's a fact. That's why... It's, it's an OGQ, man. Oh, it's an OGQ, man. It's an OGQ, man. What are you talking well, about? Yeah, well, yeah, but what, why did Roman even get involved to help Cody? Anyways, we've discussed this. I'm, it wasn't Solo's to gonna... help Cody, it was to screw uh, Solo. Yeah, well, okay. <laughs> well, so, Solo, we're going to get to that right now. That's, the, that's right. the topic of this segment. But the Cody thing is just an aside. They were going to whoop Cody's ass right here, but KO came out with two steel chairs to protect him. So they ended up backing off. Anyways, they, they told him we're going to go deal with Roman, and then we'll come back to you later. So that's what happened in this little segment. But that review of that... Uh, whole thing with what was going on with Cody and KO in the ring. That's We're going to cover that on a separate segment, and that's also on our SmackDown review. If you guys want to look at our YouTube community posts, we have a full comprehensive SmackDown review we're going to release on there. But for right now, I'm going to stick to Cody, sorry, Solo and Roman. So here's Solo taking his boys to the back. He's like, all right, don't worry about that. We'll deal with it later. And then this is the end of the show, 20 minutes to go, some, something like that, and Solo was going to go out to the ring. He got tired of waiting for Roman, so he was going to go call his ass out. And he was pretty sure he'd be there. Here's Solo coming out. Here's some nice pictures. Every time Solo comes to the ring, man, I'm telling you. Hopefully he deals with this Roman thing pretty soon. Hopefully it's just quick so he could get back to getting that WWE title. But here he is. He's telling the whole world to acknowledge him. What are you talking about? He's, the chances of Solo winning the title over Roman or Cody is, is, is I don't even know. It's negative. Oh, over gosh. Over. He's just okay. got to get Roman out of the way. Anyways, Roman, oh, he God. has some balls today, and he did actually show up. Oh, oh he has it today? Okay. Yeah, today, what, what, where has he been for weeks? For weeks, Solo has been doing this and taking over the bloodline. Anyways. Let me continue and finish telling you what happened here before I tell the world what your review of this segment was and I get some comments from you guys. Here's Roman, and then Solo sends Tamatanga first to get cracked by Roman. And then Tonga Loa, too. He's going to get uh, sent into the steel steps right there. Slow motion of that. And what else does he do? He smashes the steel steps on Tamatanga as well. Jacob Fatu is not even there, so I guess he got hurt. And I, don't, I still don't know if that was real or not, but anyways... Yeah. Nobody he's not, he's not there today. Roman and Solo face off, and they actually do get into it. So what happens here? Roman's going to Superman punch him, basically. And his boys, the Tongas, are going to get Solo out of the ring here, and they're going to retreat, and he's not going to get Superman punched. Here's Tonga Loa. <laughs> Man, Tama Tonga and Tonga Loa against Roman Reigns was not really a fair fight. I don't think they really had a chance there. But they get Solo out of the ring. There's that Ulafala necklace that is the tribal chief. And Roman picks it up. And he's going to get attacked by Tama Tonga and Tonga Loa. And so Solo's going to come out of this scene with the necklace, you see. So he grabs that. But he leaves them to get beaten up. And that's how we end the show today. Here's uh, Roman Reigns with a Superman punch on Tonga Loa. And to end the segment, I think he spears Tonga Loa. Oh, and he, and he also beat up Tonga Loa with the steel chair mercilessly to end the show. Oh, so that, I have to admit, I confuse which one's which. Tama Tonga, Tonga Loa, I, I have to be honest. Uh, when they say Tonga their names, Loa. I'm like, it's, it's Tonga the one Loa with the eye patch. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know that now, but at times when, during the show, I'm like, wait, which one is that again? <laughs> I, know it's, I know it's one of them, but anyways, I just want to throw that out there. So continue. Oh. All right, well, I got some reviews from this SmackDown angle here today. I got Vlad two thumbs up, so you like this. And also Robert, two thumbs up as well on our Malapert Smart rating system. That's the highest it goes right now. So good ratings from you guys. I gave it a thumbs up. I, I would have liked to have seen some dialogue here or something to talk about what's been going on. But they just fought, and it's also it's going to just be left hanging. 
till next week. Okay. But all right, Vlad, I'm going to give you two solid minutes to talk here. Let me pull up our clock. And there you go. All right, the floor is yours. Let's hear your review of this segment and what's been going on. Yeah, I mean, this was a hot segment. I mean, you, again, the crowd reaction for Roman is off the charts. I mean, to, again, say that this guy was the heel of all heels for, like, what, four years, three years straight. Uh, and now he's basically the ultimate baby face, right? It, it flipped just like that. It was masterfully done, tremendously done. Just And he didn't even have to be there. He didn't have to – all he had to do was lose a WrestleMania – yeah, um, masterfully done. What did they even do? But okay. <laughs> well, they they did a couple of things. They did a couple of things. Obviously, they took him off TV. They yeah, put solo. That's true. They they put solo in the you know in the position, and brought in all these like quote unquote hooligans, these uh, criminals, to be part of this new um, bloodline. They beat up Paul Heyman, the wise man, pretty badly. You know, anytime Paul Heyman takes any bumps is is a historic moment. So they did a lot of different things here. And then, obviously, Solo was saying that he's the tribal chief and then that if Roman has anything, you know, to say about it, he can come and, you know, meet him face-to-face, which he obviously now has done. Um, But I think the only issue I had with this, um, okay, so Roman basically beat up three guys on his own, but the same group has been, like, demolishing people prior to this. Like, they've been leaving people laying for, like, weeks, right? They beat up Randy Orton. They beat up Kevin Owens. They beat up Cody Rhodes. They beat them in a in a three-on-three match. But Roman comes out there and just lays waste, basically, to, to all... I mean, definitely the two the two Tongans he lays waste to. And Solo was basically getting beat up, too. He just got, you know, crawled out of the ring, you know, all kind of talking crap while he was nowhere near Roman. So I, I didn't really I don't really particularly like that part of it because it didn't make sense as much as it should have. But overall, this is a hot segment, you know. It's hard to complain when the crowd is going absolute ape shit, you know. But yeah, I have to throw in a little criticism. And yeah, that's it. Okay, all right, Robert, your two thumbs up as well. You want to give any comments about this? Yes, uh, I loved it. This was. This was the reason why I watched SmackDown. This is what the, the segment I was looking forward to the most. Sure. And I was pretty much just waiting for this, right? Uh, the, the other segments uh, prior to this were just okay. Uh, the, the Cody one was, was decent, but th- this is what I was waiting for. They saved it to the end. Yes. Uh, so, you know, so, Solo, Solo did a fine job as an interim tribal chief, but he just... Look, man, he he do, he just doesn't have the aura and presence of of Roman Reigns, so oh there can only. I, well, I'm sorry, yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> so and then and then clearly the crowd, you know, sets basically agrees. They've been wanting him to come back, the the real tribal chief to come back. So they got their moment. Uh, it finally happened. Um, as far as uh, him demolishing the whole new bloodline. That probably wouldn't have happened like that if I if I think if if Jacob Fatu was there, That's but hey, right. I'll, I'll 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 take it. Uh, and one thing I do appreciate about this segment is they didn't make Solo look like a punk. Well, after after Roman Reigns beat up the two henchmen and Roman went into the ring to to face Solo, Solo didn't retreat. Or, well, at least not initially. That's like, true. Right, most, most heels at that point would have like found a way to escape, but he act- they actually did tussle, right? So I'll give him props for that. He he didn't back down. He actually tried to fight Roman. Didn't didn't yeah. go his way, uh, but that's we'll, true. We'll see what happens he, from he there. He did come face to face with Roman. There was a Correct. moment where it was, Correct. It was and, pretty and, dramatic. And, and they did they didn't make him look like a punk in this segment. So I'll I'll give props to that too. Because that, that, that's usually not how it works in wrestling. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I I love this segment. Two thumbs up for me. All right. Well, what do you think is going to happen? Do you guys think uh, Roman's going to take back the bloodline, or he's going to try to take back the bloodline? Is that going to happen, or is he just going to be the opposition to the bloodline, quote unquote? I, I think he's going to try to recruit the Usos back uh, yeah. to to the side the the original bloodline minus Solo. And then so this is going to be a, a long-term deal with him against Solo, huh? Yeah, I, I think and, so. I, and I, I, 
I'm guessing this would com culminate, maybe not necessarily culminate in, in Survivor Series, but it, it will at least uh, this will at least extend that that uh, to the to that PLE and probably further. Yeah, right. I agree with what Robert just said. That, that sounds about right. All right. Well, unless anyone has any more comments, I'm going to move on from this. What do you think? No, yeah, we can move on. All right, then. This was uh, yesterday as we speak, Friday, Friday the 9th.